Good morning ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody today? Well, guess what? I am fantastic. We got a little bit of rain it looks like. Yeah. And it was tight getting in here last night, I'm telling you guys, but we made it. We made it. We luckily got an open spot. When I pulled in here, I didn't think I was going to get one, but there was like two or three open spots there and uh, they were really tight to get into, but we managed to make it happen. Yeah. Now we are going to get out of here. Oh, I better wipe that camera off so you can see, right? <laughs> yeah. There's actually a couple of trucks parked there on the street. They're not supposed to, but uh, sometimes you gotta park where you gotta park, right? Oh, I see there is a stop sign there, but somebody knocked it down. So I figure, well, I better stop then, right? But yeah, they got this on their uh, construction up here a little bit. I was uh, happy that it wasn't snowing. And on the floor they were. Which you're supposed to stop anyways, their four wheeler. Come onto the road here with such a high speed, I thought. <laughs> I thought for sure they were just gonna come right onto the street here, but. Yeah, it's a little tight to get out of here, that is for sure. And because of this construction, they got this bump right here, so it's like kind of difficult, but uh, we'll make it happen. I gotta go that way. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, let's get out of here. We got, well, according to my GPS, I got 68 miles go to my delivery but uh, I could make it a little shorter if I wanted to but uh, then I gotta drive a few more uh, miles back roads and uh, I didn't really want to do that well that's what we're gonna try and do But uh, yeah, so I decided eh, I'm just going to go a little further around the way, but uh, that way I don't have to uh, do all the back roads, right? Yeah. So let's see if we, uh, we won't make it. We'll stop her then. There we go. But yeah, I was looking at it and it's not that far to my... Uh, pickup place either so. so we're gonna see if we can get our pickup done here ASAP that load is usually ready so uh, then we can just get her we won't make it home Saturday night though we will only make it home Sunday so that kind of sucks but uh, I guess that's okay too. I want to bring my truck back to the shop on Monday if I can book it in. I'm gonna give him a call here. As soon as it's around 8 o'clock central time or a little after, I'm gonna give him a call and uh, book my truck back in to do uh, finish my full inspection. Like Penners requires us to do a full inspection every six months and uh, they did do an inspection already 
but they found a couple of things wrong with it and they didn't fix those so uh, because the uh, Alex there he was on vacation that's the owner of the shop and the boys weren't able to order any parts or uh, really do anything so they did the inspection but they didn't really fix anything there are a couple of minor things that they gotta fix like the exhaust pipe is uh, a little bit loose there in the back so they gotta put a new strap I think in there and then uh, I think underneath my gearbox, or not underneath the gearbox, underneath my uh, floor here where my shifter is, gear shifter here, there's a little box or whatever they say and that one was a little bit loose so they gotta tighten that off. Just a couple of minor things like that. But. And then I want to get my slack adjusters uh, changed on my brakes. They were saying that they weren't the best anymore. So uh, I think I'm just going to change all four of them. Because they've been, they're old already, you know. I know sometimes they say don't fix it when it's not broken. But uh, I like to do preventative maintenance. Whatever the word is for that. So I would like to... Uh, change them since they've been on there for a number of years already I mean I've had this truck now for almost four years that I've owned this truck and I've been driving this truck a little bit longer than that and they've never been changed the whole time that I've driven this truck you know so I think it would just be uh, fair to uh, to change them you know and that way I have good brakes, you know. The slack adjusters are the little pieces that uh, adjust your brake automatically so you don't have to climb underneath there with the wrench and adjust your brakes every couple of weeks. These ones are supposed to take care of that them themselves. They have a little system where if you press your brakes in all the way, it uh, clicks in to the next ratchet if uh, if your brake is out of adjustment at least that's the way it's supposed to work so uh, so yeah we're gonna need to change those I did the front one uh, two years ago I did the front one the whole assembly I did the slack adjusters the brake drum the brake shoes the brake quad I did the S cam shaft the whole nine yards on the front there two years ago had the dream that I was going to do the bag too but I just changed the drums and the uh, shoes and the brake pots on the back I've never changed these slack adjusters or the S cam shaft I'm not sure that I'm going to do the S cam shaft this time but uh, at least the slack adjusters since they were saying that they weren't very good anymore so we're going to do that and then hopefully get all the other minor things fixed that are wrong with the truck uh, so that way we can uh, bring our uh, full inspection report back to Penners and show them the things that have been fixed and that were found to be wrong so that way uh, we can uh, get the A-OK -okay to go again because I gotta get that done by the end of this month and then I uh, wanted to say to you guys that uh, on Monday I'm gonna go shop around a little bit for tires I need new tires for the rear, for my drive tires, you know, the drive tires are almost done with, uh, they're not all, you know, not completely done yet, but they are getting there, you know, and uh, for those of you that have been around with me, I don't even, th I put them on already before I started my channel, yeah, I have these tires on almost three years now. It will be uh, three years in May if I would to keep them on, but they are just about done. Uh, there's not much left of them anymore. They're still passing safety or, or minimum requirement to be out here on the road, but uh, I wouldn't drive them if they didn't, right? But it is time to get new tires. 
and so we'll get new tires those are the things that I talked about last year that we're gonna wait till this year so that way it's better for our tax break our tax break I already did my taxes uh, uh, this year already for last year and I'm supposed to get a little bit of money back so uh, we're gonna take that money and uh, get us some new tires put on also did tell you guys last year that I was gonna wait till this year to get new seats and uh, those ones will be pretty much next on the list I think so we'll be doing some things here on the truck here in the next little while you know at least that's the plan get some new seats so we can sit comfortably yeah. but anyways let's get on down to our delivery place and uh, we'll show you what we can today we got some good sceneries up there hopefully it's going to be a good day hopefully we won't be getting any snow up here and stuff like that so let's keep our fingers crossed right well ladies and gentlemen we have done our, our trailer switch yeah they had a really old penner trailer up there and there was a leak in the roof somewhere like there was water coming through like water on the floor so uh, we looked up a uh, repair shop and we found the repair shop here on our way down uh, to where we go pick up our reload in Lebanon Kentucky on the uh, bluegrass parkway and they are at exit 59 depending on which way you go one way it's uh, a and the other one other way it's B if you're going westbound it's B and if you're going eastbound it's uh, it's a 59 a and uh, so I called them up and they said yep bring her down here and they were able to take me in right away very nice people in there I told them about my YouTube channel so hopefully they'll watch this video so thank you guys for fixing me up there real quick no waiting time there to get me in and on we're in and out of there pretty quick I think very nice guys there so like I said they got me all fixed up over there here we are now we're on our way to go pick up our preloaded trailer we do another trailer switch up here so yeah, we got about 30 more miles to go and we'll be at our uh, trailer switch place. Hopefully my load is ready over there. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, we have done our trailer switch in Lebanon, Indiana now. The load was ready. Thank you very much, I said. The load is ready. And now we have our loaded trailer. That didn't take long at all fax the paperwork and everything over to Penners right away so they're really nice over there and uh, all I had to do pretty much do my trailer switch and uh, sign the paperwork and I'm on my way so here we are on Kentucky 245 and about 17 more miles to go and then we'll be on I-65 slowly make our way toward Louisville Louisville yeah probably be rush hour by the time I get there so we'll probably be in a big backup over there but uh, we gotta get through it that's the only way haven't even decided where I'm gonna make it to tonight yet I haven't even looked I mean it's only like two o'clock in the afternoon central time so I could have a few hours driving yet but we'll see how far we'll make it since everything got delayed today with having to fix my trailer and all that I definitely won't be making it back tomorrow night now that's for sure so we will just have to take another night on the road and be home on Sunday I guess but yeah, let's make our way over to I-65 and then uh, maybe we'll get lucky this time and be able to show you Louisville a little bit. Alright, 
right, ladies and gentlemen, look at this brand spanking new bridge that they got up here. Louisville, Kentucky, here we are. I just went by the Expo Center that we are going to be at for the truck show that's south of here. Yes, I just went by there and there to the left is where uh, we used to be crossing over. Yep, that's right. We'll be in Indiana here right about now. GPS is going to be screaming at me here any minute. You entered into Indiana. That's right. But here we are. We're going to be back at this area on the end of this month. At the end of this month, that's for sure. We'll be here for the truck show. All right. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. He's thinking I'm on the side road somewhere. That's why he's screaming at me. Speed warning. But anyways, figured I would show you this new bridge. The other day, yesterday, I come through here at night, so I couldn't really show you anything. So uh, here we are. Yeah, GPS is screaming at me because it's saying 25 mile an hour there for some side road. He thinks I'm on a side road somewhere because there's no newly built road here now with the new bridge here, you know, so that's why. Oh, somebody rear-ended somebody. Oh, well. Happens probably every day. Every day. But anyways, we'll be right back, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for today. We made it up to Remington, Indiana. That's right. And, uh, we could have gone further, but we decided not to. I just felt a little tired today or something. I don't know. I don't really feel the energy today to go too far. So I just figured, ah, I'll just call it a day up here and be done with it. Yeah, we already got all our clearings okay to cross the border. So, uh. We know we're good on that department, so I figured, well, I'll just call it a day over here, and I was going to try and get through Chicago, but then I was looking at it, you know, that would have ended up, I would have had to drive to like 9 or after 9 o'clock at night tonight. I didn't really feel like doing that today, so uh, I decided, you know what, I'll just call it a day up here and be done with it yes worry about it tomorrow tomorrow is Saturday so uh, should maybe be a little bit lighter traffic in Chicago so we'll see we'll see maybe that will work in my favor or if I get up real early in the morning and get out of here that might work better too right but uh, yeah we are done for today so uh, I don't really have anything else, so I think I'm going to edit this video together and then go to bed. So with that being said, have a good one everybody. Give me a big thumbs up, share the video. If you're not subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button right there in that corner over there. Yeah, and you'll get notified as soon as we upload a new video, which is usually every day. Not always, but usually. And uh, every once in a while we do do a live show. So uh, if you are subscribed, you will be notified. Usually via email, or if you hit, if you have that app installed on your uh, on your uh, on your phone, you can hit that little bell there in the top, and that will actually notify you right through the app. If you allow YouTube to be, you know, if you have your notifications turned on for YouTube. And I do have a bunch of other apps that I'm uh, signed up with as well. For instance, Snapchat. I am Twitter, Facebook. I got the Facebook page. I I got Periscope. I got Zello. No, all them good programs. As you see now at the end of my video, at the uh, at the outro there, I have them all in there. Uh, and uh, check them out. Yes. And I haven't mentioned this in a while, but we do also have a uh, support button here on the top right corner where you see my uh, art. And you can click that and support my channel if you like. Or if you like uh, maybe some cool items uh, 
that have my logo on it you can go to my store and check it out and uh, you might find some of those items a little bit pricey but uh, they are not of my choosing that they are that expensive pretty much uh, it's basically because uh, it just costs money if you want to have something custom made you know so it's basically the more I put into the shirt or whatever I put together the more things you add on to it the more money it costs so uh, I like the t-shirts and whatever to look really nice professionally done and so that's one of the reasons why they are a little high on money I do not get a whole lot of money from these t-shirts I only make a few dollars off of each t-shirt that's just the way it is because it costs a lot of money to make them so uh, for some of you guys that are I know I've gotten a few complaints saying that they're very expensive or whatever and uh, hey I can make them probably a little cheaper but then we wouldn't have as much nice of design in it so what which I might do I might just put a t-shirt a couple of t-shirts or something like that in there where they have hardly anything on it and then there will be a little bit less but uh, Hey, go check that out anyways, if you wouldn't mind. So, uh, that's it, everybody. Have a good one. We'll catch you tomorrow, right here on Trucker Rudy. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.